I recently finished the duct work for my dust collector, and I thought right now is the perfect time to install an IVAC system. Now, if you're not familiar with this, let me explain it to you. It's pretty trick. You have an IVAC Pro switch, an IVAC Pro Tool Plus, and an IVAC automated blast gate. These things are awesome. Once you hook it up, you turn on a piece of equipment, it turns on your dust collector and opens up the blast gate. When you're done, it shuts the blast gate down and shuts off your dust collector, allowing it time to clean out the duct. This is pretty cool. Make sure to follow along so you don't miss a thing. Now the first thing I needed to do to set up the IVAC system in my wood shop was install this right here. This is the IVAC Pro contactor. Now the contactor is a relay and a relay allows you to operate a larger load or amperage from a smaller switch. Now the reason I needed to install the contactor was because my dust collection system is a two horse Laguna system that operates on 240 volts. I'm using this IVAC Pro switch, which is 115 volts, to turn this system on and off. That's why I had to use the contactor, because I'm using a smaller switch to operate a larger load. Now this was all very easy to install, it wasn't a big deal, but if you're not comfortable with electrical work, you should consider hiring an electrician. It's going to give you a lot of peace of mind and you know it'll be done right. Stay tuned for more as I continue setting this system up in my new wood shop. At this point, I've installed the IVAC Pro contactor and I've also installed the IVAC Pro switch. Now on the back of the switch, you're going to find a little access panel. Inside there, it's going to allow you to set up the system-wide address and also a shutoff delay. The shutoff delay determines how long the dust collector is going to continue running after the shutdown signal has been sent. What this does is it makes sure all the debris is cleared out of the ductwork so that it's not sitting in there for extended periods of time. The next thing for me to start installing are these right here. This is really cool. This is the IVAC Pro Tool Plus. Now what's so cool about this is this clamps directly to the power cord on the piece of equipment that you want activating the dust collector. And it doesn't matter if it's 240 or 115, it works on everything. On the back, a couple screws, you unscrew it, you clamp it right to the power cord. There's a little access panel here where you set up the system address and the tool address. And that's it. It's ready to rock and roll. I'm going to knock these out and install them. And next up, are the blast gates. You're not going to want to miss that one. As of right now, I've got a fully functional IVAC system set up in my wood shop. When I walk over to my table saw and turn it on, my dust collector comes on automatically. And when I turn my table saw off, it shuts down my dust collector automatically. This right here is going to take it to the next level. This is really cool. This is the IVAC Pro blast gate. It's an automated blast gate. So once this is installed, when I turn my table saw on, it's gonna open up the blast gate and turn on my dust collector. And when I turn my table saw off, it's gonna close the blast gate and shut down the dust collector. This is super easy to install, just like everything else. There's a little rubber panel here. Inside there are those pin switches we've seen on all the other IVAC equipment. You're going to set up your system-wide address and your tool address. The one cool thing about this that I really like is that it has a safety feature built right into it. Tool address number one is always going to remain open. It'll be in an open state when the tool is used. It'll be in a closed state if another piece of equipment is being used, but it will reopen when the whole system gets shut down. The purpose of this is to make sure that one blast gate is always open in the system so that at any time when the dust collector comes on, you don't have all closed blast gates. That's a pretty cool safety feature. So I'm going to go ahead and install these right now. And then my next video is going to be a little tour of the shop. We're going to take a look and see how this actually works.